Hey there YouTubers, Levi666 here, coming at you with another deck tech. This is a uh, aggressive Rakdos deck. Uh, this is a really cheap deck, something I literally threw together out of some scraps. Um, one of my buddies had bought the Rakdos event deck that had a couple Stromkirk nobles in it, and I was like, oh, it's got Stromkirk in I'll grab one. And uh, it's kind of like based off the skeleton of that. And I just added some things and took some things out, made it a little more aggressive, and just threw in a few lands that I had laying around, and I'll show you what I got. Uh, I have test played this deck. This is really flexible and really fun, and it does have a, a sideboard to go with it. So we're going to go in. Uh, first, the land base is uh, I got 10 mountains. Uh, we got 9 swamps, and I got a single dragon skull uh, summit. And then four Blood Crypts. Uh, I didn't have any other duels to throw in there. Otherwise, uh, they would probably be replacing uh, all the swamps. Probably a couple swamp, two swamps and two uh, mountains. Moving on to the land base, or creature base. Uh, four Stromkirk Nobles. Four Rakdos Cacklers. Uh, four Rakdos Treadfreak. Uh, with the hybrid mana cost on these, and, and them being the four ofs, it... It really makes this nice and flexible if you only have, you know, if you go, you know, mountain, 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 swamp, if, if you don't have the dual lands and, you're, and you have to just, you know, use all basics. Uh, this gives you early game flexibility and the ability to, you know, not struggle and, and stumble. And that is always uh, the downfall of an aggro deck is if you start to stumble, uh, people will pick, will you start to be able to pick off your creatures and you'll slow down and you'll lose your tempo advantage. Uh, next creature, I got three Spike Jesters, three Desecration Demons, uh, two Blood Gift Demon. Uh, this guy is really cool. Uh, during your upkeep, you just pretty much get to draw an extra card and lose a life. It's fine, uh, especially with you know how many creatures you're going to be getting out and, and how... Uh, all the low cost of the spells, for the most part, um, uh, th that's going to help you uh, fill your hand back up. And the last card is uh, Exeva. Uh, she just fits in really well with uh, all the uh, with the Unleash guys, and um, she's not bad herself. Just as a four drop coming in, Unleashed as a four four first strike. Uh, she gets through a lot of things. I mean, she gets through Thrag Tusk. She gets hits through uh, Restoration Angel. Uh, she gets through a lot of a lot of common uh, things that are going to be on the field to chump block, and she's going to stick around to keep coming back again. So, yeah, four four for strike is is really good for four, uh, especially with haste. Uh, all right, and we're going to go to the spells. Spells we got four pillar of flame, four searing spear, uh, two brimstone volley, two tragic slip, three duress. Uh, I really like duress pulling. Uh, other awesome uh, spells out of my opponent's uh, hand. Uh, really, really fun card. And uh, great in this deck as well. Uh, you, you know, you can pull out Supreme Verdicts if uh, they got that in their hand, or if you they saw if you saw it like get pulled with an Augur of Bolas, because uh, that's that's played in a lot of control decks. And, you know, you then you play Duress and you get to pull that out of their hand, and you're gonna set them back a couple turns till they can try to Snapcast or flash it back or draw into another one which is, uh, may be enough to win you the game. So we're going to go to my sideboard here. I have uh, two Mizium Mortars, a single Sire of Insanity, a couple Cryptborn Horrors, two more Brimstone Volleys, two Tribute to Hungers, a single Ash Zilla. Just I had it floating around and it fits in if I need a little more haste in somewhere. Uh, like more, if I want to go a little more aggro, I can take out a couple lands and throw in a few more creatures. Because there are there are effectively 24 lands right here, and that's because originally uh, the two mortars were main board. So you could take out a couple lands and put in a couple more creatures, and it wouldn't really hurt you. Uh, so the Ash Z led a single Graft Digger's Cage and three Knight of Infamy. Um, and that's about it, guys. We're going to move into, I'm going to do two more deck techs on something a little more expensive, a little more competitive in the meta. And uh, then we're going to, that's going to be it for the night. And uh, if I have time, I'll uh, get to announce uh, the contest that I'm going to be doing. All right. Good night, guys. Peace.